They of extraordinary gentlemen includes one extraordinary woman. Former La Femme Nikita star Peter Wilson plays Dracula vampiress Minnie Harker, who joins a legion of truly superheroes. Shoot! Go on! I guessed as much that they would do anything to protect you. See, now that's your biggest mistake. Thinking that I need them to protect me. <laughs> Extraordinary. Boy, they told me European women had funny ways. <laughs> and Peter Wilson joins us this morning. Now, why are you why are you hiding your eyes? Well, it's just funny to see it like that. It's sort of seven o'clock in the morning here in New York on yeah. a summery day, and just to see that bestial woman. It was yeah. great. Well, it's like, you know, enjoying her breakfast at work. Yes, she was. Well, no, she's, a woman's got to eat, you know. Her iron levels would be low. <laughs> You know. Exactly right. We uh, we should explain that the, the premise of this movie, The League of Extraordinary Gentlemen, is based on the kind of a cartoon book, right? Well, it's a comic book, mm. uh, but the idea is that they're the original superheroes. And they're not really, they're, they're anti-heroes, because at the end of the 18th century, it was very repressed, and oh, there we are, flying through there, look out, Dorian, take that. Um, uh, I'm getting carried away. So at the end of the uh, 18th century, there were all these um, literary characters that were written that were very angry because mm -hmm. they were so repressed in that time. So mm -hmm. Jekyll and Hyde, Captain Nemo, The Invisible Man, Dorian Gray, Dracula, Moriarty M, The Phantom. And right. they basically pull them all together for a film. And there's a war going on in the world, a very big world war. And no one can sort of save the world. So right. the, the Except Sean Connery well, and the yeah, League of Extraordinary. The man, right. the man, the big man as we call him, who's down in Africa, you right. know, sipping pims. <laughs> and, um, you know, after... He's like the Harry, he's like the Indiana Jones character in the film. Right. And boy, does he... I mean, he's even better at 73 than he was at, say, 43. He's you think so, so? Well, he's like a good bottle of wine, like old wine, you know, mm. something that's sort of from 1962, something that's... You know. Robust. Uh, look at the boys. And oh, there's the genius director, Steve Norrington. He was amazing. Well, now here's a question, though, because there I are all him. these rumors and stories that oh. he and Connery, you know, came to blows. Rumors, rumors, rumors. No, it's nothing. I mean, you know, as I said the other day, you know, Connery eats meat, Stephen's a vegan. You know, it's like, that's the difference. There's no... There was a few, you know, passion spurts on set. Yeah. But we all had those. I broke a heel too and a nail. I was a little upset now and again, no, you know. But um not possible. Well, you know, hey, I let it run off me, but you know, it was cold, it was wet, there were floods, sets blew away, typhoid well, were, cholera. Because this is, this is Prague, was it su last summer? Because, or the, the summer of the floods in Prague? Yes, right? it was the summer of the floods. Right, so did that just wreak havoc and everything? Or? Well, you had to be, I mean, it had to be seen to be believed. It's, it's a natural disaster of the biggest, you can't imagine, it was like a, a volume of water, the width of Central Park, mm -hmm. coming at 100 miles an hour. Oh my God. And it was just thick, it was huge. Right. And you know, you could see truck trailers coming down the, the river and it's homes crazy. and beds and cars and houses and, uh. you know, uh, it was really frightening. There you um, go. Well, what was it like to be the only woman, though, in this league of gentlemen? Well, I, they, I was the gentle and gentleman, mm -hmm. you know. Um, it was great. I really enjoyed myself. Yeah. Um, I did, there was a lot of women on set, so I didn't feel like the only woman on set. But right. probably because of the character and, you know, the power she, she possessed. And for the majority of the film, I kind of sat on everything. Mm -hmm. So when the boys, I mean, up until the day that I was let it all out, the boys were very sort of sweet and fresh and charming. Yeah. And, oh, you know, Peter. And then when they saw me now, after that, there was always like three feet, keep three feet distance, distance keep right. your distance. Well, you're used to action because there's plenty of action in La Femme Nikita, right? Yeah, there was a lot of action. This is different. I mean, our action was garage action because we had no money and we had to do the effects ourselves. <laughs> well, look at her, look at her, look at that little thing. Oh my goodness, I'm about 12 there. Yeah. But at the end of this movie, I, I didn't finish the, the premise of it. Basically, the Queen says, if you save the world, I'll pardon you and let you back in society. So oh, this yeah. group of very... But this motley crew, like the dirty dozen of the 18th century, get together, and um, so it's quite know. funny. There you go. It's a lot of fun. Thanks for coming. Thanks it's for having me. It's a pleasure you. to meet you. You Next too. Next time we'll figure out what PETA means.
the league of extraordinary gentlemen opens